Today, we're in the herd with men's water polo. Coming off a tremendous 2012 campaign, Coach Sean McBride's Bison are hoping to take at least one more step forward this season. Bucknell lost to St. Francis by one goal in the Eastern Conference Championship game last year, and although the Bison opened the season this weekend, he is pointing toward November. Well, our whole philosophy is to start slow, uh, don't rush anything just so we can be better for one particular weekend. The the brass ring is the end of the year, so uh, we're just going to continue working slow, making slow progress, and but doing everything correctly. You know, if it takes us three practices to get one detail or one fundamental correct, then we're going to take three practices to do it. He says that while Bucknell graduated two great players in Brian Barron and Matt Napleton, he believes his team will find a way to pick up the slack with Keegan Williams in cage and a host of others helping offensively. But the great thing is, is that our goalie that's playing, starting for us this year got an opportunity to play behind Matt for two years and go through the same training. And, and he, we, we're not going to miss a beat with him. He's fantastic. He's a great goalie. Um, and we recruited a lot of offense to make up for Brian not being here. So we have a lot of confident guys who are used to being in offensive situations, wherever they came from. Uh, we recruited a lot of offense, so we, we shouldn't skip a beat. There's a learning curve for the freshmen but they're coming along just fine. One individual who McBride will be counting on is Captain Mike Kimball. Chemistry's coming along really well and we just have to put it together, you know? The pieces are there, we have a great team, we have a lot of talent, phenomenal coaching, great water polo IQ, but we just gotta put the pieces together. He says it was a great move by the coaching staff to alternate he and fellow senior Jack Else in the two meter or center position. Whenever I'm in and I see Jack come off the bench or he's in and he sees me come off the bench, he knows immediately that we're swimming because it is. It's a very taxing position. And after about three minutes of it, I'm not going to be as useful. I'm going to be exhausted. Coming back to defense, I'm a little slower. So yeah, it's better for the team and better for our offensive firepower if Jack and I switch a lot. And we, we've basically gotten used to it. We play about three minutes a piece, switch, and then it just it works out pretty perfectly, actually. It's, it works great that we have two centers, good, talented centers that can play with each other like that. And yeah, it's a good, we talk, Kyle's a great center coach and he's been able to substitute us like that perfectly and it's a really good strategy. The Bison play Notre Dame of Ohio and Mount San Antonio on Saturday and then Gannon and Iona on Sunday in this weekend's Navy Invite.